share the link well. Right, I'm a little slow in this one. I hope to get this review out a little sooner than this so that you could have seen it. It's been out for a few weeks now. So I am sorry that I haven't been able to get this out a little sooner for you to have a look at this pen closer. However, better late than never as they say. What I'm looking at is a pen that I've reviewed once before. You will see 12 months ago now I reviewed the Twisby Eco when they brought that pen out. Originally brought out in black and in white. And oh, a couple of months ago then they brought out a clear demonstrator version of that pen. And then about three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, they brought out a lime green version. And wow, is it lime green. It's really bizarre because I've had to look back, I was having a look back at the video that I made a 12 month ago on the Eco, a pen that I really enjoyed at the time and a pen that 12 months on I'm still using and I'm enjoying using. Um, I've got the white one already in my collection with an extra fine nib that I'm using. And now Pure Pens have sent me the Ross Lummy, his green, lime green version to have a look at because I sat there and thought I just don't need another one but I am going to need another one because this green is great and when I looked back at the video that I made 12 months ago I noticed that Karis had made a comment to me during that sort of, during the setup and the making of that video about bringing these pens out in different colours and being able to use them as a starter pen to really attract maybe the youth and some younger people into using fountain pens because they are such great value pens, it really is worth, at 28 99 that they are here in the UK, they're even better value over in the US and anywhere else. Um, because I think they're around about the 28 29 dollar mark, so the time you sort of mark that down, it brings them even cheaper than we're getting them here in the UK. However, even at 29 99 what you're getting is a piston fill demonstrator pen that holds about two millilitres of ink. So it holds a tonne of ink for you to be able to get, and for students to be able to use, or for young people in school, you get a lot of ink use out of that. You get a lot of writing, a lot of pages that you can be writing with. And, you know, yes, sort of 30 pound for a pen isn't what people usually spend on a pen if you just go in and you're know, jotting down. But for those of us that are into our fountain pens, then 30 pound for a pen of this quality is fantastic. Because for piston fill pens, we expect to pay probably three times that amount. So they've brought, and I remember watching that video and saying, Karis had mentioned to me about bringing out different colours. And in one of them I said it would be great. So I, I remember saying, or I don't remember saying, because I've just had a look back and watched it. And I say in there, it'd be great to bring out maybe a pink or a nice green. Well, they've brought out a nice green and it is a nice green. Um, I remember first posting the picture of it on Instagram and sort of almost calling it a bit of a Marmite pen, whether you're going to love it or hate it really with this lime green. I love it and I think a lot of people have really come to like it. It's a beautiful bright green. And then the pink, whilst they haven't brought the Eco out in pink yet, the AL comes out in pink on Monday. It's arriving here in the UK on Monday so that's on its way to me. So um, I'm look the 580 AL so I'm looking forward to getting that and I'll be doing a video of that as soon as I possibly can. So here we go. I'm going to stop talking now because you've probably had a bit of enough of sort of listening to me. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm not going to go into huge detail on this pen because I've done it before and um, you'll be able to, I'll put a link to the other video down below. Um, so at least then you can have a look at that for the detail of it because it's still the same weight, it's still the same size, it's just a different colour and I just want to be able to give you a quick look at how this sort of colour looks really. So I'll see you very shortly once you turn this Welcome camera back. On. So we're going to have a look now at the Twisby Eco Lime. I'm going to look at it a little closer. I'm not going to go through this in massive detail because this, the specifications and everything are on the other video which I'll link below when I reviewed the white one. So I'm just really doing this so you can see the colour of it. But like the white one, it arrives exactly the same thing in this cardboard, this brown cardboard sleeve with the Twisby logo. And then in this plastic case. The instructions on there, instruction manual there, and then instantly you can see the colour of this pen. This beautiful lime green that is matching my nails to perfection. So this is what we have. So this is the Twisby Eco and this is the lime green. It is exactly the same, I'll show you, as the white. There's also the black and there's also the clear demonstrator. So the black has the black where the white and the green is and the clear has the transparent or clear has 
clear where the white and the green is so you can fully see through it. So the caps and the twist mechanism, the finial here, are sort of hexagonal in shape. The rest of this pen is beautifully round. Lightweight pen, just 22 grams in weight with the cap and just 14 grams without. And as I said before, fantastic value for money at under £30 for a piston fill pen that holds that much ink. So let's have a look a little closer here. Taking that cap off and let's have a look at this nib. So this one is a medium nib. And then for comparison, my white one is an extra fine nib. Put those side by side so you can see. There. I've got magenta flash in this one, the my magenta flash, and look at that shimmer in there. And then this one, in case you're wondering, it's got the tropical glow in there. Both wonderful colours. Two millimeter, two milliliters, not millimeters, milliliters of ink that this will hold. So great for sort of everyday use. And I love the fact that it's got a bit of personality. I wasn't going to get one. I probably will be getting one. Um, I'm just very conscious that it's close to Christmas and I need to stop spending money on pens. Um, however, I keep justifying them somehow or another. But a fantastic pen to hold in your hand very well weighted, very nice and beautiful to write with, so smooth. This is a medium nib, so I'm just going to do a quick writer's up and you can see the difference then between the two widths. I'll bring this over, squeeze this in and then bring this out so you can see. There we are. So this is The Twisby Eco Lime Green, and this is a medium. I'm going to have to go out for you to see all of that in there. And then, just for comparison. This is the Twisby Eco, this is the white, and this is extra fine. So we've got Tropical Glow, and we've got Magenta flash. This medium nib is so smooth, it's just gliding straight over the paper. The extra fine nib is smooth, but obviously, because it's extra fine, it's got a bit more feedback on there. So you can see the difference in that there. I love them, and I think they should be in everybody's collections. Somebody should have at least one of these in their collection. And you know, if the colours keep coming, I think they'll almost become sort of Lamy Safari-esque really. Yes, they're a bit dearer, but you know, the amount of ink that they hold and the quality is, is great. I mean, I know when Twisby started coming out, there were some issues with cracking. I haven't seen any with that for a long, long time. And I've got five or six different Twisby pens now and I haven't had an issue with any of them so very very happy with those indeed. So any questions please drop me a line but if you're thinking about having a go at these you definitely should. I cannot get that to stay. So I'll love you and leave you now and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!